Hey everyone, it's John Isaiah here from the Automator, and uh, I was doing some work with FFmpeg and doing a text overlay, and, and I actually use it every time in the podcast. And it was really troublesome of dealing with double quotes and single quotes. And Isaiah was mentioning, you know, a couple things, the lessons learned, and then also maybe converting it to version two because it's so much easier. It's kind of like Python to escape things. It's just so much easier. You can use yeah. single quotes or double quotes stuff. Why don't you go ahead and yeah, so basically, before we start, I just wanted to tell you, it, it, escaping quotes in AutoHotKey version one is one of those things that are a headache. That is really a headache because for escaping quotes, you have to do like double quotes inside the quotes. So it is really annoying. And I think that's one of the best things that came out of version two, which is that they kind of like removed that out of, out of the way. But usually you don't feel the pain of it very often unless you use the run command and you're actually working with the CMD or the com spec. That's when you're going to feel it the hardest because when you pass strings to CMD, they usually have to be quoted, right? And it, beside that, in auto hotkey, then you have to be careful how you quote those things and it becomes a mess. So right now, this is the uh, uh, command that actually works. So what we're gonna do, let's just forget about this part for now. I, I, we don't, what I'm actually caring about is this line here that has the code. Notice that you're running the CMD, you're passing the close parameter, and now all of this is a series of strings that are quoted. This is quoted, this is also quoted, this is, and so on, right? But all of that is actually contained inside double quotes whenever you're passing it to the conspec. So this is something that is really annoying and it can become really confusing at times. Some people like me, what I would try to do is actually use an expression because with the expression, then I don't have to use the percent signs and that would make it a little bit easier for me to track who's a variable and who's not. But then if you go down that path in out of hotkey version one, it becomes a nightmare, like a real nightmare because now um, all those quotes that are single quotes here now have to be escaped. So, why is it good in auto hotkey version two? So let's go ahead and take a look at how this would look like if I went ahead and had an expression instead. So let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, it is auto hotkey down here. I would force the expression. So comspec is a variable. Now this is actually part of the string and this is another string. So now I put everything in quotes. Now for this guy here, which is a variable, I need to put it out of my string. So um, here ends my string with a C. Now I take this out and that's it. Now I have a variable, but remember that that was in quotation marks. So I have to put quotation marks around it. So I have to select everything, put the quotes, but I have to escape it. Now notice that I have double quotes here, double quotes there because those are escaped things that are going to pass to my comp spec. And these two quotes are the ones that actually divide my string from my variables. You see, you see where this is going. This is going to become really painful. At the well, what, what I was going to clarify, I thought you were going to demonstrate doing it in version two. You're right, just I will. Yeah, at, you're at first, I'm doing you. this just That's to good. show That's you how annoying this one. is. Right. right. This is still version one. Now, again, I'm just doing that, all the variables, I'm removing the percent signs, I'm escaping the quotes, and then I'm adding some quotes to get them out of the string. So basically, notice how many quotation marks I'm having. It is insane, right? So I have this, I have this, and there we go. And still, you know, this looks crazy, right? This is what happens in our hotkey version one. And you mentioned something very important. Sometimes some of those texts contain single quotes, right? right? So let's just add one in here. So just, just say, uh, and param equals my uh, test 
And I'm going to put a single quote in there because it is my tests. And I have a single quote there and some things in here. So in version one, you can use your single quotes like that. That's not an issue. That's okay. And let's change this to message box so we can take a look at how that looks like. Okay, so let's just do this message box. And I'm, I'm going to put come spec to uh, CMD. Dot exe, that's it. And the other variables like the path and everything are going to be blank, but right. that's that's not a problem. Notice that as soon as I try to run it, let me uh, no, let me double check on that. It's because I have the other version. As soon as I do it, uh, yeah, because let me make this like this one, just because I cannot do that. Notice that still, it would be painful just to do these kind of things because now, yeah, that, that has an, an illegal name. Now you have to figure out which of those quotes was wrong. You know, it is really painful to work with those kind of things. I think it's the spaces here that is making my, my problem here. There we go. So this is what I'm having. Notice the quotation marks around it. The reason they're double is because their variables are blank. This is what I want to get. It is a problem. Notice how many quotation marks I have to put. And in the end, in your case, you were having that in the end, the command was not working. When you were trying to run it, it was not working because of the quotation marks. What happens in our hotkey version two is that all this becomes easier because now you can the quotation marks, the original ones, the outside ones, I can just change them to single quotes. And now all my quotation marks inside the string are actually escaped automatically. Okay, so you can put single quotes, and that means that all your, your quotation marks are going to be escaped automatically. So if I want FFmpeg, as far as right, it's right. So this is a string. And now this is what I have to do only. There we go. So now I have a string, I have a single quote, I have my variable, and I have another quote in here. Notice that I'm using single quotes to go away, uh, to, to get out of the string. And I can do that for all of them. So now I have uh, my quotes there, my I. I have another quote here. So let's just go ahead and do this. Those are my quotation marks, and I just put my single quotes in there. So everything looks a little bit cleaner. And then you would say like, oh, and what is gonna happen with my single quotes here? Well, you right. can use the escape character to just signify that those are yeah, the- but you can't do in version You one. cannot do in version one, and that's actually a pain. In version two, you can go ahead and um, escape characters as you would do anything else. If you need a single quote, and you can do the same for the, for the normal quotes, you can do that. And now it is a little bit easier for you to kind of like manage what is going on because now you can use the single quotes to go ahead and manage what is going on. Now, if I grab this, bring it here, um, and I would just remove this percent sign because that would be a problem. I should be able to get something similar to what we were doing, except for what was uh, the global FFmpeg. Oh, that, yeah, variables, if they don't have a value, they will tell you right. that they right. don't have a value. So yeah, I want to continue, it doesn't matter. Ah, right. But basically, uh, I just have to put the warn of I, I forgot which one is it, global variables off, or something like that. The only thing is that you you remove that and you are able to, yeah, let me much, just, yeah, it is just much, much easier for you to follow what is going on and you can escape easier whatever you're trying to do. As soon as I remove those, notice that I have my, my where my variables would be, you have the double quotes. So basically escaping and the final text looks a little bit cleaner. And if you need to change something, it would be easier for you because you know it, it is it is you don't have so many quotation marks going on, right? 
But I would say that is one of the things that at a hotkey version two actually solved having those quotation things, yeah. especially oh, if you're going to be running with the run command and the conspec, dude, that, that right. becomes something easy. Yeah. I was going to say just, just to, if anyone's playing with this, the, you, you can change the backslash C to, to you can add echo. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. it would still close the window, right? So you got to right. change the C to a K. And right, that way, you'll yeah. see what was done. Um, and this is where we're working on a function that will actually make it much simpler to troubleshoot, see what's being sent to the command, the, the mm-hmm. actual command prompt. Because what you got. Yeah. this is what, where I was playing with this, trying to get it right. And it was really hard to, I'd have to switch here and switch at the end of this. I had a hide because I didn't want to actually even see the box. And I, right. I so and so you, you were, bu- yeah, you were toggling be- between the, the real string. And so you had this whole thing here and you had the other well you had a second line like this right right or yeah. keep yeah. and echo okay and echo. right and then and then, and then you, you were kind of like switching hide. back and forth yeah. between but, those to figure out what well, that line you have to get rid of the hide oh uh-huh. yeah because right? if you... and that's where i was like this sucks troubleshooting because it's 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 things not yeah. in the place and this is why i'm like yeah. hey, I'm and, and it was <laughs> and it was all just to figure out which was the stray quotation mark going right. on right yeah, and but and, um and out of hockey version two this stray quotation mark it goes away because you don't have to do that anymore you can use single yeah. quotes to escape the normal quotes yeah. or the other way around you can use right. double quotes to escape right. single quotes yeah. and inside the string you just use your back tick and you're good to go you know yeah so, like I yeah. said, I was always jealous of Python when I saw how Python <laughs> did it. And, and I'm like, oh, it's so much easier to <laughs> Well, of course. <laughs> there right. you go. Well, thanks, man. Cheers. You're welcome.